Hello ladies and gentlemen and those in between, welcome back to another video, Everett here and today we're going to talk about Addicted to Series. So, I have just seen all of the 15 episodes of Addicted, also known as Shanine, and quite honestly, I'm still left hanging up in the air wanting for more. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? There must be more to just 15 episodes and holy cow, the title itself speaks for the impact it has on its audience. And it's just addicting as heroin and don't even think for a second that I am a drug addict or anybody <laughs> addicted to any sort of drugs. But what I mean by that is that this series is so addicting that you can be glued to your computer or television screen and not even think of going to the bathroom to either go number one or number two. And I love how cleverly the storyline pushes and pulls. And I'm placing this series along with Together With Me, Love Sick, History Crossing the Line, History Obsessed, My Romance, so it is of course on top of all the series I've seen. And I could bless the rest of the world in alphabetical order, starting off with Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, China, Colombia, Dominican Republic, France, Germany, Indonesia, Iraq, Italy, Jamaica, Japan, South Korea, Mexico, New Zealand, Nigeria, Panama, Peru, Philippines, Puerto Rico, South Africa, Spain, Ukraine, United Kingdom, United States, and Zimbabwe. And I'm not even talking about Miss Universe, I'm talking about Addicted to Series. And if you haven't seen the series yet, you'd better check it out or else you'll miss half of your life. <laughs> Addicted is a story of Bai Luyan who has lived with his careless father, Bai and Shi, and his grandmother since he was a young child. Unfortunately, when he turns 16 years old, his mother remarries a widower high-ranking official, and this widower has one and only son, and his name is Gu Hai. Gu Hai has kept a deep grudge against his father, and owing to the random hand of fate, the two brothers Gu Hai and Bai Luyan, with wildly conflicting emotional backgrounds, have been placed in the same class and with time, they slowly develop a different kind of special feelings toward one another. What do you guys think will happen if they find out that their parents remarry one another? That will surely cause both of them a lot of trouble. I couldn't help squeezing my pillows plus giggling <laughs> while seeing their flaming sweet moments. And the chemistry is undeniably apparent and whoever watches this, regardless of nationality, will surely fall head over heels in love. And admit it or not, this is the kind of love story every gay man in the world dreams of or fantasizes Aww. about. I'm literally in love with Guhai and I wish I could find, if not the same, at least someone similar to him. <laughs> you try to find another guy, you'll see what happens. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't mind him. But seriously, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> Yushi and Young Min should have had their own spot to shine as well, perhaps in season 2, because both characters are likewise lovely, especially Yushi. Why am I even talking about season 2? There's no season 2! Well, based on what I heard, because Timmy Su plays Pai Luyan and Johnny Huang who plays Gu Hai were acquiring celebrity and both of them were rising to fame, the Chinese government pulled this very popular BL series from being streamed on Chinese websites as it followed two men and gay relationships causing uproar among the show's millions of viewers. Chinese censors released new regulations for content that exaggerate the dark side of the story. Let's say, for example, homosexuality, extramarital affairs, one-night stands, underage relationships. So now, these drama contents deem as illegal on screen. And the government said Addicted Series contravened the new guidelines which states that no television drama shall show abnormal sexual relationships and behaviors such as incest, same-sex relationships, sexual perversion, sexual assault, sexual abuse, sexual violence, and so on. And the ban also extends to smoking, drinking, adultery, and even reincarnation. Well, I respect Chinese government officials. If they think that having done so can help people stay moral, well, I am an absolute bored. But come on, guys. We live in a technologically advanced world where the LGBTQ plus community keeps fighting for their rights. Our rights, of course, including myself, because I'm a part of this community. And I'm glad that gradually the LGBTQ plus community has achieved all of the things that they've been fighting for. But it just saddens me to think that to some extent there are still people who refuse to acknowledge the existence of the LGBTQ plus community. And that all of these people who belong to the LGBTQ plus community want as nothing but recognition and to be treated normally in the same way straight people are treated. But like I said, I respect Chinese government officials because it is what it is and all of us who love addicted just have to do is move on. 
gosh! <laughs> Where could I possibly find such a scorching hot daddy as Mr. Bai? Wow. How in the world has he stayed good looking at that age? And Gu Hai's father? Wow. Why the good heavens is he so handsome? Jeez, I could never say never to these oh, hot daddies yeah. and I could go. Hey, hot daddies, I'm worth every bit of trouble. Be careful, my boyfriend is watching this video. <laughs> to my mind, the best thing about this series is the chemistry between the two main characters, Gu Hai and Bai Luyan. Their chemistry is off the charts, not to mention the fact that their acting skills are very natural. And mind you guys, this is not a typical BL series where one of the characters is superior to the other one in terms of personality. I mean... I just love how they bully one another, like after one bullies the other, the other one who is bullied takes revenge on the one who bullies. And I'm like, am I watching a series where the two main characters are both tops? <laughs> Who's the bottom? Where's the bottom? We need a bottom. You get what I mean, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, moving right along, the stubbornness of the two characters, Gu Hai and Bai Luyan, is what makes the very first few episodes noteworthy, and by that I mean interesting to watch. But I think what makes the whole storyline even better is the fact that both Gu Hai and Bai Luyan prove that no matter what obstacles to the relationship are, they are always there for each other, ready to fight Aww. for what they think is right and what they love. Well, what can I say about this series? It's amazing, fantastic, marvelous, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? <laughs> Oh, super gally, fragilistic, gally, delicious. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious, if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super gally, fragilistic, expialidocious. Super gally, fragilistic, expialidocious. Amaliam, maliam, maliam. Amaliam, maliam, maliam. I ain't a YouTuber, vlogger, no more, cause I am now a rapper, and don't you dare say something negative about my rapping, cause I'm gonna snap my fingers in Z formation. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever my next video comes out. Peace out, <laughs> You Xin Yang Ming. Yang Ming. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, hit like. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Anyway. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for the Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and <laughs>